Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in this video I'm going to discuss and show you how to decommission a septic tank. So this video will be ideal for those people who've got an old septic tank and they're now installing a new septic tank or they're relocating a new septic tank to a different part of the garden and they need to decommission their old septic tank. All right, so the first thing you need to do when you um, are decommissioning a septic tank is to get it emptied. Now, obviously, you may think, well, why? You know, why should I empty my tank if I'm not going to use it anymore? Because two reasons. The family, safety, right? So if you imagine the septic tank after you've stopped using it, it will still be full of wastewater. And so let's say it takes you a week or two weeks, right? to put another septic tank in, this still poses a danger to your family or friends or whoever is on site because the lid on old septic tanks especially can rust, they can corrode, maybe the top is unstable. So the point is if someone falls in there, right, they could drown and they could die. All right, that's reason number one. Reason number two, let's say for example, there isn't a lot of water in there, right, there will be a lot of fat grease in the sludge in the bottom of the tank. Now, although someone probably won't drown if they fell into the tank, the point is it's going to fester and it's going to stink. So the first thing you need to do, right, is to get your septic tank emptied. So get it completely cleaned out, right? And so maybe when you've got it emptied, then get it um, jetted. So jetting, they'll pull a high-powered jet, jetter in there, blast all the muck out and suck it all out. So clean the old septic tank out first. All right, now once you've done that, there's two or three ways, right, to decommission an old septic tank to make it safe, all right? So that should be the primary concern, not just to have been get rid of an old eyesore or, um, or something like that, but you need to make it safe for your family. And the first thing you need to do is break in the roof. Now that can be quite difficult, especially on septic tanks that were made in the 50s, 60s or 70s because on the top of the tank here, right, although it just looks like a slab of concrete, you'll find that it's been reinforced with those row bars, right? It's been reinforced. And so they're not easy to break in, all right? They're really not easy at all. And um, you can get a digger bucket and smack into it. And sure enough, the concrete will crumble. It will crack. It will break. But that will still leave the row bars in there. And it can be a hell of a job, to be honest, right, breaking in, right, the ceiling or the roof of an old septic tank. It can even be more trouble than it's worth because once you start going down that route, right, let's say, right, you've started smashing in and breaking in the roof, right? And, you know, you've got an angle grinder, so you've got bits of twisted metal and stuff here. Once you start breaking it in, it's then going to pull and put pressure on the other parts of the septic tank, the other parts of the structure. And what you'll find is the corner, some of the corners will break in and it can become a real flipping mess. In fact, to break in the top of a septic tank can literally take you two or three days to do and um, and then when you've done that, obviously, you know, there's other bits of um, the structure there that will be damaged. So it won't, won't necessarily just be a case of taking the roof off. You'll have to break down some of these side walls as well into the tank to make it completely safe. And then you'll have to be careful that if you're breaking some of the sides of the wall in, that you don't actually get subsidence and, the, you know, the digger fall into the hole. So those are some of the pitfalls associated with breaking in um, an old septic tank. Now, once you've done that, there's a couple of trains of thought here, right? Some people, right, will put a new septic tank. So let's say, for example, you're going for like a, a bottle-shaped style septic tank, something like that. So there's a different, few different ways in which you can go about it. So let's put in, let's say you can put the existing, uh, the new septic tank into the existing hole, right? And let's say you're fortunate enough, right, that the existing pipes will connect straight into your new septic tank. If they do, you're very fortunate, all well and done, right? And so then when you've put that in, you can then put a concrete blanket around the onion tank there, 
put a concrete blanket in, let it dry, let it go off, let it set, and then um, <laughs> you'll have to find topsoil somewhere, right, to fill in, right, in between the tank, the concrete blanket, and the side of the tank. So that's one way you can do it. Um, downsides is that you've got to buy in a load of topsoil, one, two, three, four, five ton. It can be very expensive topsoil. Got a lot of faffing around. It's almost like a week to break in an old septic tank like that. And then for been probably another week or at least half a week to put the other one in, the new tank in and then concrete it and do this and do that. So that's one thing you can do, all right? The other thing you can do is <laughs> once you've broken the top in, and you've got all your debris and stuff in the bottom, is go to the other location where you're gonna put your new septic tank in. Once you've dug a hole, bring all the spoil, right, from the hole that you dig, and then fill the old tank in here. So fill it right up, up to grass level there. So um, I soon found out in my early days of installing, if you've dug a hole and the hole's falling in or there's danger of it collapsing, if you fill the hole back in, it can't collapse anymore. It can't, you know, it can't, um, it won't um, create subsidence or anything like that. So the sooner you've dug a big hole and you fill it back in, it ceases to become a danger. So that is a popular route also that people go down. But the reason I've done this is because I wanna show you there's a really simpler and easier way to decommission your old septic tank. So let me just go back here. So let me just rewind, right? So let me rewind to the point at which you have emptied the old septic tank. So I'm gonna put the old lid back on here, not the old lid, but the old ceiling. And there you go, there's your old ceiling. And so imagine it's got its structural bars in there. And all right, you've got it emptied and you're digging a new septic tank somewhere else on your land or somewhere else in the garden. The simplest way that I found and other companies have found, right, to decommission an, an old septic tank is to simply take the old lid off, right? Take the old lid off. Obviously that would be a hole there. Take the old lid off and then get the topsoil, right? The topsoil from the new hole that you're digging and just tip it straight into the into the tank through the hole there. Yes, it will pile up here, first of all. It'll get a mound of topsoil and debris from the hole that you're making. But then, bit by bit, right, with the digger bucket and a big pole, keeping it nice and safe, you'll be able to push the, uh, the new topsoil down the sides there, so it builds up like a little mountain. Then, in no time, it'll start to flatten off. And literally within a day, or less, less than that, half a day, you can literally fill the old hole back up with topsoil from the new hole that you're digging, making it utterly and completely safe. Now at this point, if you want, you can then try and break the ceiling in, but I'll be honest, I wouldn't bother, I'd leave it, because look, if the hole's full of soil, right, then there's no danger. The hole can't collapse anymore, the structure can't collapse into a cavity because you've just filled it up. I mean, if you wanted to, right, where the hole is, or where the hole was of this old septic tank, you could just, uh, concrete that hole in there so then you've just got a concrete um, a complete concrete pad on top of your old existing septic tank then after time uh, I can't find my green pen where's my green pen got oh here's a green pen let me get my green pen here then over time what you can actually do you can actually turf over the old septic tank there and uh, just blend it in with the grass left and right. I mean, in reality, you're talking about what, five, 10 mil um, that it will be raised, or maybe it's even level with the grass, but once you put your turf on, I mean, what's the thickness of turf? Something like that. So you can blend it in nicely. Some people just leave the concrete slab or the concrete pad uh, visible, exposed in the garden and put, um, and put shrubs or pots and stuff on there. So there you go, I hope that's helped. That's uh, my septic tank tip for the today, for today, how to decommission an old septic tank. So I help, hope that's helped. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to see, if you'd like more free help and advice and see videos like this one, then just go to septictank.co.uk uh, or you can go to YouTube, right? And type in septic tank TV and you'll see, you'll see more of me and loads of other free videos 
offering free help and advice regarding all types of subjects to do with septic tanks and sewage treatment plants and so forth, etc. So thank you very much for watching this video today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. Help. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.